Okay, good day again. Right. As you can see, I've managed to reroute this heater um, tube, got rid of that metal tube that was going rusty and leaking. Um, yeah, and I've replaced it as I mentioned in the last video with a whole lot of um, you know, tap fittings, brass pipe fittings and these ones here were the ones I was concerned about because they, they were a different thread but yeah I went to play some Tassie uh, Rankin and Bond who make things out of brass and uh, they had the fittings and the thread tape is what he suggested he was a plumber and he said yeah just put yeah, thread tape around them all and uh, yeah I've had it running and of course I haven't added up to temperature but so far so good I haven't any leaks uh, down the bottom here, um, yeah, it's just a bit of short bit of thread of pipe um, screwed into the manifold, and the, the nut you can see that's the nut that you know it's off the bottom of a tap. That's what you know holds your taps into your vanity basin. So I'll just use that to lock it down because. Uh, you know, it doesn't actually lock into it anyway. Uh, so, and I put a rubber washer under it, as you can see. Um, before I screwed that in there too, I, the threads were pretty mucky. So I got this as just an old steel fitting from Gal Pipeman, and uh, put a series of cuts in it, and then I ran it on the wire buff to get rid of the rust and the, you know, any burring or from the angle grinder, and uh, yeah, use that as a thread tap to clean the thread a bit. Yeah. Yeah. The other piece, which is this small pipe, yeah. it's sort of difficult to see, but yeah, that's just that was another, um, yeah, two barb fittings and a collar or joiner, and uh, I'd run out of thread tape by this time, too, so I used. I went through my drawers and I found some um, yeah, gas thread sealer, like a sealant type stuff, so I put them in, in them and I was, yeah, screwed them both ends in up tightly and uh, then drilled and tapped the thread. I was fortunate enough to have an expanding thread the right size as the, the bottom piece. So. But yeah, because those two barbs screw right into they almost meet each other uh, yeah I've had to do that with them already in place so that yeah the hole actually goes right through the two barbed ends but, uh, anyway as I said appears to be all good at the moment it's running okay it's uh, not leaking anywhere as yet so hopefully it'll be all right and, yeah, I haven't actually had it up to running temperature yet. So. And the other thing, um, I didn't buy a new um, gasket for the inlet manifold. I had some sealant, which is, um, you know, fuel solvent resistant. So I've just ganked it up both sides and stuck it back on. Um, the reason being is that I plan to pull the whole thing off again, not too far in the future. Um, I've got coolant getting into one of the cylinders, or at least one of them anyway. Blows out the exhaust. And it's not a lot. It's not an, uh, like it's not enough to be an issue. It doesn't go through a lot of coolant. You know, I, I top it up a little bit every two or three months or something. So it, it's buggered all. But at the same time, I still need to fix it. The other issue is I'm having this, um, you know, sump pressure problem. It's blowing, and I mentioned this in the last video. It's blowing through the breather up into the throttle body, and yeah, blowing oil into it. And you know, I had the sump leaking because it had actually blown the gasket out between the bolts, and uh, yeah, so I had to replace that. And, Fortunately, the new one's actually got metal in it, so they can't blow it out again. But um, I think I might actually have found the source of the problem. Right down the back here, which you're not going to be able to see, but 
Right at the back of the mound hold here is where the um, PCV is, the pressure control valve. And beneath that is a filter, like a fibre filter. And I suspect that is all clogged up and carboned up. So I think that's what the issue is with the sump pressure. But I did try and dig it out and wasn't able to. You just can't access it. So... Yeah, at some point I will be taking the entire manifold off the whole belly cover bit and everything and uh, putting some new gaskets in it. And at that time I'm going to pull that filter out and clean it. And, yeah, so. And also need a new rubber around the, the PCV itself. Uh, but it's still on at the moment, it's not leaking vacuum. I couldn't hear it anyway. So. But, uh. What I did do was I poured just a little bit of thinners in there to um, attempt to wash that filter a little bit. But you don't want to go pouring any great amount because it's going into sump, you know. You can uh, ignite it and blow your sump off, you know. If you put too much in there, but as that ain't put a little bit better lid full. And it just filled up the hollow. It took quite a while to actually go through this filter, which... Tells me, yeah, it's pretty clogged up. So, anyway, that's a job in the future, and uh, yeah, hopefully that will fix the problem. But, uh, anyway, in the meantime, as I said, it's going again. Not drivable, as you can see, because I've still got the whole front end off. Uh, I've got left hand guard ready to go. Um, I didn't put it on previously because, well, for one, there's a bracket that goes on this, um, on the aerial, the power aerial, that was stuck to, and I, I freed that up, and I should actually have made a video of it, and uh, I think I will actually, because I've got a spare, uh, this is actually the, the spare, the one that came off the other car strip, and, uh, yeah, so I will make a video of how you free that up and get it working again. So, but yeah, down the bottom, there, there was a bracket that was all pretty rusty, and yeah, which is hanging up here. So that had to go through the sandblaster and get painted and dry. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I didn't put the guard on the other day after I got it ready. But, and the other thing too is that yeah, while I'm working on the guard, on the, the engine and the ring leaning over the top of it. And better if it's not on yet anyway, because it's, yeah, it lessens the risk of scratching it. So, anyway, that's where we're up to, so, I uh, hope this is helpful to somebody, and uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like, please.